Hey guys and welcome back. So today I've got a bit of a shoe haul for you and you may have noticed I'm back in my living room. I've had a few of you say you prefer it when I film here and haven't noticed the echo too much. So tell me which works best for you. Uh, but I want to talk through a few new shoe additions that I have kind of brought into my wardrobe recently. There's a lot of summer sandals in here. I just felt like I needed to update and refresh the shoes that I had because I haven't really bought too many shoes myself this year. And the first thing I wanted to quickly mention is if you guys didn't know already, Everlane has opened up international shipping again. So I'll link my Everlane review video up here and I also did a shoe review in case you wanted to pick up something from Everlane as I know a lot of you have asked me about it in the past. I personally am looking at getting the uh, heeled Chelsea boots. I think they look gorgeous and they remind me of a pair of shoes that I used to wear a lot when I was living back in Wellington and then I'm also looking at getting their new double layered cashmere it just looks divine and you guys know that their cashmere is my absolute favorite so onto the shoes and I think I might start with the less expensive shoes first and then I'll talk about the designer shoes towards the end and this first pair I actually grabbed from the post office today and they're a pair of mules okay and the shoes are the these pink mules from Truffle and I bought them via ASOS. They are so cute, they've got a little heel and they remind me of those Mariam Nasser Zadia, I think that's the name of the brand, or, my, or the Mansur Gabriel uh, mules. I just think these are super cute. They're only about $50, which is incredibly affordable and they're made out of this really soft microfiber suede fabric. So they're not real leather or anything like that. They're synthetic, but they're super comfortable from what I've tried on already and I really can't wait to wear these. I think it's going to look super cute with a white dress for summer or just with a pair of denim shorts to kind of elevate the look. So I am super, super duper pleased with these. And if you guys haven't noticed, just based on all the stuff I've been adding on my wardrobe recently, pink is my all time favorite color. Can't help it. It's totally cliche, but I just love it. Now this next pair of shoes are from Mango via The Iconic. I actually just grabbed these last week because they were doing a bit of sale for Vogue's online shopping night. So I managed to get 30% off and they're already on sale. But this is what they look like. And they are a navy blue slide. So you can see there's a little bit of a theme. I'm obsessed with slides at the moment. And they have this incredible kind of navy tinsel fabric across the toe. They are embellished. I just love these. I think that these are the perfect festive shoe and I just also love the fact that there's a little bit of fun to them. They're not just your casual slip-ons. I have a pair of slip-ons from Everlane that I wear all the time, but I just think that these are definitely a little bit of a jazzier pair. They are really, really cool and I cannot wait to wear these. And I have to say, I've never ever tried any shoes from Mango before, but I'm really impressed with the fit and the quality, so I think I'll probably be picking up a few more Mango shoes in the future. But yeah, I just absolutely love these and so, so pleased with them. Can't wait to wear them a lot this summer. The next pair that I picked up are from Topshop and they're these sort of aubergine maroon colored sandals. They're a gladiator style. They wrap up just underneath the ankle and they have a really cute wooden stacked heel. Now I used to shop at Topshop all the time for shoes and their sale season was always my favorite. I'd probably buy myself about four new pairs of shoes every single time. And I've been walking past, well I walk past Topshop every single morning to get to work and also on my way home. So. I spotted these in the window and they also come in a black with silver studs, but I just really loved this color. I think the fact that it's not black makes them a little bit more unusual. I still think these are incredibly versatile and I think they're going to go so well with a lot of my wardrobe. And I really love the fact that they had a gold contrasting stud detail. So I think these are really nice and I also think they're surprisingly flattering for a shoe that has a strap just under the ankle too. In my opinion, I don't really think that these cut you off and I think it's the way that the strap sits and I like the fact that it's got this little buckle closure as well. So yeah, these are super comfortable as well and I really have to say I rate Topshop's leather shoes. I think they're absolutely beautiful and these were only about $120 so I think that's a really good price to pay for a type of shoe like this. Then the last few pairs of shoes that I'm going to share with you guys are designer and I picked them both up from The Real Real which I kind of obsessively stalk their shoe section as I tend to get a lot of good bargains like my wedding shoes were from there. But the ones that I picked up first were these 
sandals from Nicholas Kirkwood. So probably easier if I just show you one. So these are in kind of like a really warm tan leather with a red sort of trim around the edges. And then they have a gold mirrored heel, which is triangular, which I really, really like. I actually had seen these because they, they've had this particular style out for a while now. And I didn't think I was going to like the strap that sits across the top of the foot, but I actually think it's really flattering and I think this is going to be such a great summer sandal and this is the sort of thing that I tend to wear in the office a lot because I do have some issues with my back. I've mentioned this before. So I tend to try and go for heels that are slightly lower as I find that when you're wearing heels at work, it definitely elevates your look, particularly if you're wearing something that's a little bit more casual. So these are pre-loved but as you can see for the wear on the bottom, these look like they may have only been worn either tried on or in a showroom or something like that. So I'm really, really pleased with these and they were really inexpensive as well in terms of designer shoes. I think they only sent me back about 160 because they had 20% off. So yeah, pretty, pretty pleased with that bargain. And the last pair of shoes are from Stella McCartney and they're actually a pair of espadrilles. And I have been wanting to get a new pair of espadrilles for a while. I bought a pair from them, I think it was maybe this time last year in a leopard print and they were actually more of a slingback style and I just never wore them. I think it was the print was a little bit too loud. I don't usually tend to go for printed shoes. I just find that they're a bit too hard to style. So I prefer block color shoes. And when I spotted these and these are brand new, I thought I might as well go for it. And they've got a very Chanel-esque vibe. So I'm just gonna pull them out, but this is what they look like and hopefully it's not getting too blown out on camera, but they're a white crochet lace and they have sort of like the raffia sole. I just love these and I think they are so cute and they're so comfortable as well. And yeah, they were again a bargain. They cost me as much as the Nicholas Kirkwood. So I'm really, really pleased with these. Obviously I had to kind of splurge buying myself five new pairs of shoes, but I figured I wanted to give myself a little bit of a treat after spending so much time and stressing so much about planning a wedding. So yeah, um, but I just think these are super cute and I feel like they're going to look gorgeous with all of my kind of summer outfits. While I'm not taking time off over the Christmas break, I just figured that these would be a great alternative to a sandal. And yeah, just very, very pleased with these. and. Stella McCartney shoes are 100% vegan, so these are synthetic and fabric. So those were all of the shoes that I've picked up recently. I've really been into kind of updating my accessories rather than my wardrobe in terms of making my look seem a little bit refreshed. And shoes for me is 100% the way to go with that and handbags, but handbags are definitely a lot more expensive than buying a new pair of shoes. I've definitely gone absolutely crazy for mules and slides and they are so in at the moment. So it's pretty obvious why but I just think that they are so cool and such easy shoes to wear and I can't wait to kind of style my new uh, shoe additions up and show you guys how I wear them. Also, I just wanted to mention that if you did have any wedding related questions to ask me, then please don't forget to drop them in the comments section below and I will get to them in my wedding video and Q&A when I do that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe to my channel if you're new and you want to see more videos like this from me and I will see you next time with a brand new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.